Hello all, welcome to Chess Point. In this video, we will see how to calculate some problems based on devices of a number. Let's first have a look at calculating the number of devices of a number. Consider a number 360. In order to calculate the number of devices of 360, we first express 360 in terms of its prime numbers. That is, 360 can be written as 2 cube into 3 square into 5. So I write 360 as the product of 2 cube into 3 square into 5. Now incrementing each of the exponents of the prime factors by 1 and calculating its product we get 24 this 24 represents the number of devices of 360 in general if n is a composite number which is expressed as a to the power of t into d to the power of q into c to the power of r so on where a b c are primes then the number of devices of n is given by p plus 1 into q plus 1 into r plus 1 and so on. Okay. So we know how to calculate the number of devices of a number. Let's now have a look at calculating the number of even and odd devices of a number. Considering 360 again, this can be written as 2 cube into 3 square into 5 right now the number of even divisors of 360 is given by writing the exponent of 2 as it is and incrementing the exponent of other prime factors by 1 that is the exponent of 3 is incremented by 1 and the exponent of 5 is incremented by 1 and calculating the product of this gives us 3 into 3 9 into 2 18 which is nothing but the number of even devices of 360 now the number of odd devices of 360 is obtained by ignoring the exponent of 2 and incrementing the exponent of other prime factors by 1 that is incrementing the exponent of 3 by 1 and incrementing the exponent of 5 by 1 and calculating its product we get 6 so this 6 represents the number of odd devices of 360 in general if n is a composite number that is represented as 2 to the power of p into b to the power of q into c to the power of r and so on where b c are primes other than 2 then the number of even devices of n is given by the product of p q plus 1 r plus 1 and so on and the number of odd devices of n is given by the product of q plus 1 r plus 1 and so on okay let's now see how to calculate the sum of the divisors of a number considering 360 again which is written as 2 q into 3 square into 5 now the sum of the devices of 360 is obtained by calculating 2 to the power of 3 plus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 into 3 to the power of 2 plus 1 minus 1 by 2 min I mean 3 minus 1 into 5 to the power of 1 plus 1 minus 1 by pi minus 1 which gives us 1170 right in general if n is a composite number that is expressed as a to the power of p into b to the power of q into c to the power of r and so on then the sum of the devices of n is given by a to the power of p plus 1 minus 1 by a minus 1 into b to the power of q 
plus 1 minus 1 by b minus 1 into c to the power of r plus 1 minus 1 by c minus 1 and so on. Let's now see how to calculate the product of the devices of a number. Considering 360 equal to 2 cube into 3 square into 5. The product of the divisor of 360 can be obtained based on the number of devices of 360. So let's first calculate the number of devices of 360 which is equal to 3 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 right this value is equal to 24 now the number of I mean the product of the divisor of 360 is 360 to the power of the number of divisors of 360 which is 24 by 2 ok so this gives us 360 to the power of 12 and this value is equal to the product of the divisors of 360 in general if we have a number n uh, which is in the form a to the power of p into b to the power of q into c to the power of r where a b c are primes then the product of the divisors of the number is n to the power of x where x is the number of divisors of n by 2 clear I hope this video on devices of a number is clear. Thanks for watching.